Hey guys, welcome to another drive through review. I am your host, Steve Arino. Today we're talking about Dunkin' Donuts. And I have my Santa hat on. Why do I have my Santa hat on? Because I was cold this morning. It was the first winter hat I found. So I threw it on. But anyway, guys, we'll go ahead and get started with the video. I've got a couple, couple different items for us to check out. First item we're going to look at is a... I believe it's a bacon, egg, and cheese on an English. See how they wrap this up here. Came in this bag. All right, guys, we'll check this out here. All right. So this is, I asked for it on uh, Everything Bagel, so they got that right. Um, when I went to the second window, she asked me what my donut was. So that's one thing you guys can work on is maybe have like um, some way where the where the second window can tell what donut was because I think they must just have like a donut button and it's not telling the second window which donut it is. Uh, it just it just it's less hassle for a customer when we have to tell them again what the donut was because I had told her I wanted a jelly donut at the first drive through window, and then when I got the second window, she asked me what my donut was. So. Apparently, they must just have a donut button or something, so it's not perfectly clear. But go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just take a look at this, guys. I don't know if I can open up the bottom of this or not. That's what the inside of the sandwich looks like. As you can see, they gave me quite a bit of bacon, so that's going to be a positive to that, right? And then the bottom part also has a piece of bacon, on, and, and apparently they're still using the microwaved eggs. It's like, a, I believe it's a real egg, but they microwave them. They come frozen. Um, that's one thing I wish that these breakfast places did is I wish they made eggs fresh. But I think it's just costs a lot of labor. They have to have extra staff to do it. And I think waste can be an issue when they're making eggs and people aren't buying them. Waste can become an issue. So overall, guys, as you can see, uh, there was no burns on this. Um, the bacon was pretty, they put a, quite a bit of bacon on it, guys. So we're going to go ahead and try it. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Mm-hmm. It's actually not bad guys at all. Um This sandwich this morning out of 10 being the best. I'm probably going to give this like an 8 today just cuz it was a pretty good presentation. There was quite a bit of bacon on the sandwich. It was hot. Um let's see here. And it looks like they do have a little cheese on there. It's hard to tell. Cuz it's like kind of buried at the top but you can see some orange in there so i'm assuming that is a slice of cheese at first i was curious whether they had forgot the cheese but it looks like it's just more or less at the top not bad at all guys you're going to get an eight out of ten for your breakfast sandwich ten being the best and then we have our coffee guys it's going to be i believe it's a three and three I'm going to go ahead and try that. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Not bad. It does have a little bit of a flavor, like maybe it's been sitting just a little bit, which is unusual. I went to a, I went to a slower store today, so a store that doesn't do as much business. So I'm going to cut them some slack on the coffee because sometimes if you don't have as much business, you may have coffee sit a while but today's coffee guys is gonna get a seven out of ten not bad not bad guys seven out of ten is not bad i could definitely taste you know some sweetness some sugar in there but it just tastes like the coffee has been sitting a while but like i'm gonna but like i'm gonna say guys i'm gonna cut them some slack because it is a slower branch it's a slower store all right, guys, then we have our jelly donut. Uh, the jelly donut appears to be slightly slightly crushed up a little bit. 
like that's something you guys can work on. Like you can see the donut appears to be slightly crushed up. And it's actually kind of, it's a little bit, it looks to me a little smaller than it, than it should be. So that's something you guys could work on is maybe make it a decent size. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try this out, guys. Please don't try this at home. So that's going to be the jelly inside, guys. It's going to be the jelly inside. Not bad. I mean, the donut itself seems a little smaller than it usually is. Not a whole lot of filling inside, which that's kind of going to be a con because there's not a whole lot of filling. Um, but overall, guys, I'm going to give this donut, this jelly donut, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, guys. Just because there's always room for improvement with these donuts, right? Not bad, guys. So we have the breakfast sandwich. We have the jelly donut. We have the coffee. Um, overall today, guys, you guys actually did pretty good as far as presentation. The breakfast sandwich looked good. It had a lot of bacon on it. It was heated up properly. The cheese was melted. The donut, a little room for improvement. The coffee, make sure coffee's not sitting too long because because it's going to get that burn taste quickly. Um, but overall, guys, I'm going to give you today because of the breakfast sandwich, you hit the breakfast sandwich out of the park. I'm going to tell you guys that I'm going to give you guys about an 8 out of 10. So you got about an 80% score today for Dunkin' Donuts. Not bad, guys. You know, and who doesn't like a good jelly donut, right? So that's going to be that, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another, another episode of Drive Through Review. Review it. Reviewing Dunkin' Donuts, guys. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of fun out on the road doing these reviews. Like this video. Share. Like it. Subscribe. Whatever you want to do, guys. Love you. Bye.